One of the White House's longest serving employees died last weekend from COVID-19. Wilson German was 91. He worked at the White House from 1957 to 2012 as a cleaner, a doorman, and a butler. He served 11 presidents from Eisenhower to Obama. Today I spoke with his eldest granddaughter about his legacy. My grandfather is a family loving, genuine man. And whoever, it, it, he was always about service. Um, a service to others. It, it didn't matter who you were or what you did or what you needed. Whatever that he could provide, he would. Your grandfather served for a long time in the White House. I, mean, yeah. I would imagine you've heard some incredible stories of, of some of the things he experienced, witnessed, and saw. Take us all the way back to the very beginning because he didn't start as a butler. He actually started as a server or as a cleaner. Yes, that's correct. In 1957, during the Eisenhower administration, he started off as a cleaner. And it wasn't until the Kennedy administration um, when he built relationships with President and Jackie O um, that Jackie O actually promoted him to a butler. Uh, because of the relationship. She was instrumental in ensuring that that happened. So when Bush Sr. Uh, became president, moved his family into the, the White House, um, George Bush Jr. had some, a little bit of trouble adapting to a new environment and some trouble sleeping. Well, my grandfather would actually sit with him in his bedroom and, until he fell asleep. Were you guys surprised to see his picture when it popped up in Michelle Obama's book? Yes, <laughs> yes. And I want to say thank you so much, so much to Michelle Obama for including him uh, in her book. You know, just considering that we aren't able to grieve normally physically together, that is one way that we are able to still feel connected uh, to his success and connected to so much that he promoted around authenticity and building relationships, and which equals building trust. I want the world to remember my grandfather as someone who is really authentic always in always being yourself and and that is what he taught our family that's what thrives through our throughout our family and that's what we will continue to carry on throughout his legacy we will carry it on and we will keep pushing forward and he always taught us that he always taught us that there will be obstacles in your life always they they will not disappear it doesn't matter your status it does not matter your role or what you do there will always be obstacles, but you keep pushing forward. What an incredible life and legacy. Mr. German lived in D.C.'s Petworth neighborhood. Jim, get this. He and his wife and children, his wife, they had five children, 12 grandchildren, and 18 great-grandchildren. Because of the pandemic, though, they will hold his funeral virtually. I mean, incredible legacy. It's amazing that the history that he was a part of over time and and you know, just imagine, you could tell how proud his, his granddaughter was to just share the story because that, that is part of her family's legacy that he leaves. So, so Mr. German, uh, uh, what, what, a, what a great legacy he leaves behind. Indeed, so many presidents, so many stories. I mean, we could have gone on and on forever, <laughs> uh, but we certainly wish the family well. No doubt. Thank you, Sean.